Hello and very welcome. This video is specifically created for the MOW217 or Manufacturing and Design module. Our students, these are second year mechanical and industrial engineering students at the University of Victoria. So my name is Dr. Lucas de Pussy and I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Mechanical and Aeronautical Engineering at the University of Victoria. And this video is specifically created to give background information on the group assignment for the MOW217 module. So the group assignment idea originated from a research paper that was published by researchers at the University of California, Davis. They initiated a Schigli Holler project at the university for the, I think, final year or senior students. Um, and how it works is the students are divided into teams and each team gets, gets issued with a small electric motor and a set of plastic spur gears. The teams then have to design, manufacture and assemble a gearbox. Um, here you can see an example of one such gearbox. There's the small electric motor, all the spur gears that are secured to the shafts. And then um, these student teams compete against each other on the day of a competition. And how that works is they bring the gearboxes and um, there is a wooden test ramp. Um, the, uh, what you see on, in this picture is the top of the wooden test ramp. And this specific gearbox is now clamped to this wooden test ramp or the top of the wooden test ramp. The wooden test ramp is approximately one meter long and there are four tracks of 300 millimeters each. And this test ramp can be inclined at different angles. And so at the bottom of the wooden test ramp, there are in each track a trolley that the students also designed and manufactured and assembled. And then on top of the trolley, there are, as you can see in this photograph, in this case, there are two Schickley mechanical engineering design textbooks stacked onto the trolley. Okay, so um, the trolley is attached to the gearbox with a fishing line. And if I can just scroll back quickly, the, the gearbox obviously has a, a, a spool onto which this fishing line is then uh, wound up as the small motor turns the gears um, and then I'm sure you can gather the competition is how quickly can your gearbox pull up one Shigley textbook at an angle of 20 degrees and then at an angle of 30 they stack two Shigleys on the trolley and similarly they incline it to 40 degrees with four Shigleys and then lastly 60 degrees with five Shigley textbooks. So, this is the Shigley's Mechanical Engineering Design hardcover textbook that they use in the States. It weighs four pounds and four and a half ounces, which is just less than two kilograms. All right, so the envisaged MOW217 Shigley Hauler assignment at the University of Pretoria, what, what I envisage there is that each student gets issued with a kit consisting of all the manufactured parts, gears, bearings, motor, fasteners, everything needed to assemble this gearbox that you see on the screen, CAD image of. So, so here is the list of items that the student will be issued with. Um, these items will all be comprised in a kit. So one small electric motor, a set of spur gears, all the manufactured components and all bought out items needed to, assembly, to assemble the UP Shigley Waller. And then what will happen is the, the students will bring their um, assembled gearboxes on the competition day and compete against each other. The whole idea of this uh, project is for students to get 
an appreciation and a solid understanding of the mechanical components involved um, and in, involved and used to design this gearbox. Um, these components are representative examples of the content of the module that I teach in class. So it will really uh, install a very solid appreciation and understanding of uh, the components that we talk about in class. So for 2023, um, the, the group assignment, or let me just say that uh, it is envisaged, I'm talking to um, companies for sponsorship and there is some very good and promising interest. So the, the, hopefully the idea and the, the long-term goal is to uh, initiate the project from 2024 onwards. Um, students will also, um, once on the day of the competition, they will hand in the gearboxes, the assembled gearboxes, and um, I will then, with the help of uh, teaching assistants, disassemble the gearboxes and uh, reissue them in 2025 to the class, to the MOW217 class of that specific year. So for 2023, uh, the group assignment is uh, consists of the following. So the 217 students of 2023 need to divide themselves into groups of no more than six members. Each group needs to design the mechanical interface between a test station frame and the Shigley Waller gearboxes. So if I can quickly scroll back up. Exactly what this G-clamp is uh, doing over here, the function that this G-clamp is performing, that exact function is what we want to design. We want an elegant solution um, that will be quick and easy to uh, attach the gearboxes, do the test, and dis disassemble them or remove the gearboxes, detach the gearboxes then once again from the frame. So quick, easy, and good alignment in terms of position and orientation. That's what we're looking for. That's what they need to design. The mechanical interface uh, between the test station frame, and I will show what this test station frame look like in a minute, and then the, the UP Shigley Waller gearboxes. So uh, just once again, speed of attachment and ease of attachment as well as the positional and orientational alignment between each Shigley Waller gearbox and the test station frame are important. Okay, so take that into consideration when you design your mechanical interface. Okay, the test station frame will be made from PG30 aluminium extrusions, specifically the 30 by 30 with four slots. And here is the hyperlink to that um, specific profile, um, that's what it looks like, the cross section with all the dimensions, okay, and what you see on this screen is then the frame I'm talking about, plus four UP Shigley Waller gearboxes, and um, over here these gearboxes are now not secured in any way, I just placed them as a, uh, in the CAD assembly, so uh, we need something that will align, secure, uh, align the gearboxes and it must be an elegant way of attaching and detaching them. Um, Alright, so figure 7 and 8 shows four Shigley Waller gearboxes that need to be attached and secured to the test station frame using the mechanical interface that the student teams will be designing. You are allowed to make minor modifications to the Shigley Waller gearbox. Okay, so these are just um, CAD images that I've uh, screen grabbed and pasted in this document 
and this is from the other view from the other angle from another angle okay so what are the instructions you can use any CAD package of your choice I did load on um, click up the SolidWorks installation um, instructions okay and what you then have to do is create an assembly drawing that shows only a portion of the test station frame okay so in other words you're not going to create this full assembly with four gearboxes you will isolate a single a portion or section of the frame with a single gearbox attached to the frame um, plus you will show in other words a portion of the test station frame one Shigley Haller gearbox and the designed mechanical interface with all the manufactured components and bought out items okay so that's the assembly drawing that i'm looking for then i also want to uh, see mechanical detail mechanical drawings of each and every manufactured component be it a newly created part or a modified cheaply hauler gearbox part okay except standard bought out items please don't create detailed mechanical drawings of standard bought out of any standard bought out item i don't want to see that okay if you decide to modify certain parts of the shigley hauler gearbox you only need to dimension and tolerance and gdnt the modified details of the affected parts all right so you can assume that there will be 20 test station frames and that each frame can simultaneously accommodate four Shigley Holler gearboxes okay this is now what we're showing on in this CAD image or this CAD assembly file that's what it looks like each of the frames will look like this and there are 20 of these frames 20 frames each frame being able to accommodate four Shigley Haller gearboxes okay and then you can also assume that there are 360 Shigley Haller gearboxes that need to be tested so once again speed and, e and ease of attachment as well as positional and orientational alignment between each Shigley Haller gearbox and the test station frame are important okay so once you've created your assembly drawing and your set of mecha detailed mechanical drawings please combine all the drawings into a single pdf file okay this pdf file a single pdf file must contain the assembly drawing and all the detailed mechanical drawings okay then submit your single pdf on judicator ams by three o'clock 1500 on Friday 19 May 2023 and please note please don't submit separate PDF files of each of your drawings so with that said uh, thank you very much for listening and um, I wish you all the very best for this group assignment I do hope that you will enjoy it and that you will learn something